back in the booth with the violence conductor. Yes, brother. So, what are we talking about today? Logan. Figure I give you guys a review. It's a comic book movie. You know I was gonna watch it. You know I've been told that that's all I review. That's not true. I got some other joints we're gonna talk about. Old school and some newer joints that are not necessarily comic book movies, but they gotta have action in them. I will say a couple of things. The movie opened up, and it was amazing. I don't know who thought of him driving a limousine, but that's it was just good. Uh, by the way, there may be some spoilers. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'll try to be not. I'll try to be light on the spoilers, but. Let's start with saying I'm not a huge Wolverine fan. Okay, dude is too overpowered. He's got too many skill sets. He was a ninja. He was a samurai. He was black ops. He was CIA. He was a he was a Tuskegee Airman. I mean, uh, dude was on the on the trip to Apollo. He was also a vampire. He was in the Civil War. He was in the Revolutionary War. He is just it's just too much. Like it's it's an excuse to say he can do any and everything on the on the planet. So in that instance, I kind of like where they've gone with, with Logan in the, in the newer movies that he's, he's a violent dude and he can fight. He's a, he's a, you know, he's a brawler, but he's good at fighting. Uh, now he's not a ninja. He's not backflipping off walls with 200 pounds of titanium in his, I mean, uh, uh adamantium in his body and uh, uh, all that stuff. So I kind of like what they did with him. So I'll say that much. I like the fact he's not super overpowered, right? He can get dropped. He has been dropped on multiple occasions. All throughout these movies and Logan one this is the best movie they've done probably Marvel hands down outside of maybe Deadpool which is a one shot or um, what I'm sorry like an individual as an individual movie um, this is probably the best Marvel movie I've seen in my opinion it's just a good film I really enjoyed it again back to the opening he was brawling. It was brutal. So he gets a brutality bonus for that one. So as far as the movie, it's a pretty good movie. I'd give it like a, man, I want to say like a three and a half out of five. It kind of bumps it up to a four. It's about a four out of five, if I'm going to be honest. As far as the stats are concerned, throwing up these hands, four out of five. It wasn't super martial arty. They were just vicious, savage brawlers. Him and the little girl. It was magical and they had some team up moves they did that I was like thank you yes that's what's supposed to be in an X-Men or movie like X-Men Wolverine Marvel movie when there's teams they work together as a bit of a unit that's what is cool about the comic books they did a little bit of that in this I mean they did their little two on whatever fight they were getting after it stunts people were getting slashed and thrown all over the place they did a very good job with that. They did a much better job on his claws, by the way, than what they did in the previous films. So I really enjoy how they worked that out. Plot overall. As I said, the plot, I give it a four out of five. It was a good movie. In the bickering with him and Professor X, I did not expect him to take it that direction. That was amazing. And the little half references they did with the tracker, um, where they didn't tell you, this is the blah, 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 blah character. They let you figure it out or um, let it come out organically in the script. Or if you just knew who it was, just knew who it was. That was cool to me. They weren't just revealing everything and knocking us over the head with like we were stupid. I will say this um, on the brutality point. Little girl went off. The fact that... Spoiler. <coughs> and she took the harpoon through the chest, like all the way through the chest. I was like... Yes. If somebody's gonna be able to, you know, heal and do stuff like that. They need to have ridiculous fight sequences. Let them get hurt. Let them get drugged through the dirt. Let limbs get cut off. I, when I saw they did that to a little girl, I said, this is yes, that is amazing, and that is exactly what you would do fighting somebody that is as good as her and has her abilities. You'd go all in. So they went. They turned the violence all the way up. One of the most brutal movies I've seen recently. I mean, people just died horribly. Logan was taking some, taking a beat. So savage. So in their brutality, they get a brutality savage bonus. I give this movie a four out of five. Um, it was just a good movie. And it was it was an action movie and it was Marvel and it was comic books. And they're doing a really good job with those. Um, so I'm really appreciating that. Go watch it. If you haven't seen it, you need to stop what you're doing, catch a matinee, go check it out. I am going to hit you guys with one pain point. Of the screening, not necessarily of the movie. So I saw the Wonder Woman trailer. I, I've read up because I was never a huge DC fan. 
So I've had to read a lot of Wikipedia, right? And watch a lot of videos about these new these new DC movies coming out to see, you know, what's canon, what's not. <sighs> Everything I've seen with Wonder Woman set her up to be like, like a like a skilled tactical brawler, right? So how Superman will take a punch, I've always the the, the things I saw with her, Wonder Woman was tough like that. She'd step right in and brawl with you, but she's been trained by everybody on the planet. So she's actually technically a better fighter than even Batman, but she gets in there and she throws hands, right? She's like a, she's like a tank, which is cool because you rarely see female tanks. Shout out to Gina Carano in the uh, Deadpool joint. So I was looking like, man, they're gonna get a, they're gonna get a sturdy broad in there, and I'm like, in this age of feminism, they're gonna gonna have her dancing around, you know, doing her Karanas and flipping around. And I saw the trailer and I was like, while I think I'm gonna like this movie because it reminds me of, strongly of Captain America: Civil War, which was amazing. Since it's basically it looks like the same movie, I'm having a hard time with how agile she is. Not that she can't be that agile, but just that in in the context of what's going on, why does she have to be that agile? If she's that strong, if she's that much more powerful than them, like she doesn't need to flip around. I I hope there's at least sequences in the movie where since she's like nigh invulnerable and super powerful, she would just punch somebody in the mouth. I'm not talking about like a, a, a Capoeira Compasso. I don't want to see her do Eddie Gordo moves. They may change my mind, but right now, I mean, I'm going to watch it, but right now, I don't know if I have a lot of hope if I'm gonna enjoy the action parts, if she's flipping around. I feel like we will have lost an opportunity if she's just not tough and sturdy warrior to get in your face and headbutt you and kick you in the chest 300 style. Anyways, ran over. Go check out Logan. You guys got anything that's not maybe like in the theaters or whatever that you want me to review? Let me know if uh, there's anything like uh, a little independent short coming out or independent feature because I review anything with action and somebody's going to get chased, kick, jab, stab, something like something's got to happen that's brutal, violent, um, a fight scene, a chase scene, something with some movement. Um, send it to me, you know, be reddick at ballisticblade.com. Um, you know, just, just put in the subject line, the violence conductor, and then just shoot me a link to whatever it is you want me to view, send me your DVDs or whatever, hit me up. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Um, I'm, you can find me. I'm not. I'm in the streets. You can find me. All right. Again, Ben Reddick, Ballista Blade, Violence Conductor. I'm out.